our Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Hi, well, praise the Lord Jesus who helped us catch all these fish today. My buddies and I, we caught these fish in answer to prayer. But the purpose of this video is to do a review of a tough line micro lead because I've been reading some positive things on the internet. Uh, some of the guys in the Lakeland here uh, fishing buddies form are recommending it highly. And so I was catching plenty of fish on the regular uh, tough line lead core, but it requires a really large reel. I've got that spooled up on a couple big uh, Okuma convectors, like uh, 47s or something. And uh, I have these smaller reels, and a lot of people have these smaller reels, and you can't spool up very much of the full-size lead core on the smaller reel. I tried it, could only get five or six colors on, but I was reading that I could get nine or ten colors of the Tough Line Micro Lead on the smaller reels. So I have a bunch of these smaller reels. This is a C-Line uh, SG27 LCA, and I was able to put nine colors of the Tough Line Micro Lead onto the smaller reel and we're catching fish today we caught fish both on this lead core and on the other lead core and with uh, 210 feet out at 2.3 miles an hour i was estimating we we're hooking up with these guys at 20 feet deep so it's getting deep enough uh, let me talk a little bit more about how i use it and some testing that i've done uh, first on the reel i spooled up just 100 feet of braid just in case you're fishing with all the lead core out and you hook up with the big fish pull and drag, you want a little more line on there uh, before it, you get all the way spooled. So hopefully you can slow the fish down in that extra 100 feet. So 100 feet of braid, I only fit nine colors, or uh, 270 feet of the Tough Line Micro Lead out. Uh, then one of the things I learned, I did some careful strength testing uh, because I hear different things about the strength ratings. This one's actually rated at 27 pounds. And so to test it, I just have an accurate fishing scale that I pull against. And I determined that just tying a uni knot directly to the hook on the scale, uh, the failure strength of the 27 pound rated line was between 34 and 36 pounds every time I tested it. And I tested it three or four times like that. But then the other thing that I learned is that uh, trying a uni to uni knot directly from the uh, tough line micro lead to say a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, this uh, sheath on this is spectra, or it's a high density. So just like a braided line can cut your hands, the, uh, the sheath on this, if you do a uni to uni knot with, or lots of other knots, I tried a few other knots too, directly to a 30 pound fluorocarbon monofilament leader that I like to use, it was cutting through the leader material at a pull force of about 10 or 12 pounds every time. And I like to get closer to the full rated strength out of my leaders. So what I ended up doing to get the closer to the rated strength out of the leaders was I didn't use a uni to uni knot, but I don't know how well you can see it here, but I just put a uh, swivel in line. So I'm tying the uh, lead cord to the swivel and then I'm tying the uh, leader to the swivel. Uh, so that gets close to the full rated strength of the line. And then I've got a, uh, probably about a, 10 or 12 foot fluorocarbon leader and then whatever lure I've got on there today. So I'm very pleased with it. The bottom line is uh, a much smaller reel, you can get enough leg core to get deep enough to get into the striped bass. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend the Tough Line Micro Lead highly. Thank you, Jesus. When I stand in glory. I will see his face, and there I'll serve my King forever in that holy place. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son, and leaving your Spirit till the work on earth is done. 